Today we look at the most complete starter kit from Elegoo on the Uno R3 project kit. Alright, thanks for checking out this video. Today I want to show you guys all of the parts that come in the complete starter kit for the Elegoo Uno R3 project. Uh, it's pretty much another version of Arduino. In fact, it's pretty much the same thing, just a different name on it. Uh, and online and on Amazon, you can see all the parts that come with it, but some of them, it doesn't give a description of what they do. It's just more of the model number. So today I'm gonna take you through opening the kit uh, and showing you all of the parts that come inside. So when you first open it up, flip this over you actually have all of the parts laid out which is really nice shows you everything that goes inside there all right and that sits right inside the tray I'm gonna pretty much go through all of these sections here and show you uh, what the parts are so starting up here see if we can get a little focus on it there we go all right so this is our little water level detection sensor Right now, if you're not familiar with this kit or what it does, um, there are tons of different projects you could do, all different sensors and motors and a bunch of other parts that come with it, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have our little IR remote, which is nice. And one thing I noticed too, going through all of the parts, is if anything has pins, like this is our little LCD display, uh, there's a little piece of foam on the back, which is nice. So if I flip it around, right, it kind of protects all those pins, which is pretty cool. All right, so it's our little first section there. On this middle section, we have a bunch of wires. So we have the USB cable that connects the board to the computer. We have a ton of jumper wires here. Uh, we even have some male to female wires. All right, there's our male to female wires. And we even have this little motor over here, a little stepper motor, which is pretty cool. All right, the third section, little prop. We actually have our all right, RFID module, radio frequency ID module, which is pretty cool. And inside this little box underneath here, these really quick, is all of our small components. So, let's see if we can get a close up on here. So inside we have a bunch of different color LEDs. We have some white LEDs, potentiometers. We have some buzzers. Uh, we have capacitors and a couple of RGB LEDs. Uh, some transistors, again, some push buttons and some capacitors. And in the bottom right, we actually have, uh, we have a uh, 74595 chip. So it controls a bunch of uh, outputs with just a couple inputs, which is pretty cool. And then the other one we have is an L293D chip. Uh, and that's gonna be our motor driver. So a bunch of cool little stuff in this little bin over here. All right, moving along, <clears throat> we have our servo. We have our little nine volt battery snap, right power to our board. We have a little nine volt battery in there. This one's pretty cool. Have a little joystick module. So this will actually clip right on here. And we have all right, full access joystick. So this can be cool if we make a couple games. We have our ultrasonic sensor. All right, good quality, everything's looking pretty good. All right, in here, we have a couple things, so. There we go. So one of them, we actually have our uh, stepper motor driver. All right, and we also have a, uh, a gyroscope and accelerometer. So it's a GY521 module. Uh, so a couple other little parts in here, pretty cool. All right, coming back over here. We have two little parts here. We first have our sound sensor module in my right hand. Let's see if we can zoom in on that, there we go. So we have our sound sensor module. All right, and the other part, we have a, uh, an RTC module. So what this does is actually is gonna manage time from seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, which is pretty cool. It keeps a pretty accurate time even if power is interrupted. So again, depending on the project you do, cool little part to have. All right, this goes with that, that prop blade from before. It's a little three to six volt uh, motor and it has the wires coming off of it as well. Let's see if we can get a focus on that. There we go. 
In here, we have a little five volt relay. All right, and we also have, all right, we have a, let me turn it around. We have a seven segment uh, single digit display. Again, right, we got the foam on the back, which is nice. And we also have a four digit. There we go again, the foam on the back, which is pretty cool. Right, I like that they took time to make sure the parts aren't damaged or anything. They do have some fragile parts in here. Um, a lot of them came in bags as well. I, I cut the bags off before this video, um, just so it's a little easier to display. All right, here we have our little motion sensor. Right in here, we got a couple parts. So in this bag, there we go. We have a rotary encoder. All right, so if we wanted to, let's say, turn a motor like by individual degrees, we could use this little guy here. All right, we also have a little temperature and uh, humidity module. Now, one thing I like with, all, with this kit is it includes uh, a manual as well. It's on a CD. Now, if your computer doesn't have a CD drive, you could download it offline. Uh, but it does have lessons on each of these parts, which is pretty cool. So if you're unfamiliar how to use it, uh, you're like me and you just don't really know programming too well and you want to get started with this kit, uh, it gives you step-by-step -step lessons, which is pretty cool. All right, coming down to the last section here. So we have a little power supply module. Again, foam is on there, which is nice. So here's a little power supply module. All right, in that section as well, we also have an eight by eight LED display. All right, so one thing I saw online is somebody uh, played the game Snake on here, which is pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to doing that. All right, little adapter, wall adapter. All right, it's a nine volt adapter. And then in this last section, we get to the good stuff. All right, we first have our, right, our board. So um, again, Elegoo, it's just another name on here. This is pretty much the same thing as Arduino. So we have our controller board. All right, we have our, oops, we'll just get it out. There we go. We have an expansion board. All right, that's a prototype expansion board. Again, everything looked pretty good right out of the box. Whole bunch of resistors. I think the box had 120 different resistors, so um, they even tell you what values they are on the yellow stripe, which is pretty cool. There's a whole bunch in there. All right, we have a little membrane switch module. Again, everything looked pretty good right out of the box. And then the last step we have, which is pretty important when it comes to electronics and testing out circuits, is we have our breadboard. That's an 830 tie point breadboard. Uh, so this is pretty much it. This is everything that you get within this kit. Uh, I think it was 50 bucks on Amazon, which is not a bad deal at all considering all that you get. Uh, and there's a lot of value to it. There's a whole bunch of projects in here. Uh, it's a nice little introduction to programming. Uh, and if you're just looking to get interested in electronics and programming, this is a great fun way to start.